Welcome back to our channel. In this video, we're gonna do a full ship tour of the Carnival Miracle on the Carnival Radiance. Carnival. Hey guys, from the Carnival Miracle, I'm going to start up here on the sports deck and work my way down to the main floors. So we're going to go floor by floor showing you all the restaurants and places to hang out in the public spaces. So come along with us and see what there is to do on the Carnival Miracle. So we're starting up here towards the front of the boat up here on deck 11. This is the sports deck. They have a miniature golf course and a basketball fun things to do while you're out at sea. Now we're gonna go all the way to the back of the ship and show you where the water slides are on the other deck. So now we're gonna go down to deck number 10 here. This is called the sun deck. So now we're at the back of the boat here on deck 10 to show you the giant water slide here on the Carnival Miracle. Uh, basically it's a bunch of kids and middle-aged men acting like they're kids. I would include myself in the ladder. So we're gonna go down here to deck number nine. So decks 11 and 10 are the sun decks, the pools and the sports areas like the miniature golf. And there's just tons of these little seating areas. They're so nice just to hang out in all day. Now we're going into the Lido deck, the Fay area, the main dining room area here on the ship. It's open for breakfast, lunch and dinner couple hours a day it closes down to reset the menu but there's all sorts of food in here there's a lot of specialty restaurants besides just like the salad bar for the buffet there's also the deli where they make handmade sandwiches that are really good they have a sushi spot here some of it's free some of it you have to pay for it rolls are like eight dollars it's actually really good uh, they got the pizza restaurant Usually on most of the ships, it's open 24 hours a day. Really nice slice of uh, thin pizza. The main buffet here is big. So that was sort of the first half of it. Now we're gonna go to the back half. No, it doesn't look like all of the buffet stations are open right now, but that's okay. And looking our way towards the front boat, you have the Blue Iguana. Tacos and burritos, really good. The Blue Iguana bar, you also have Guy's Burgers, which are delicious, but will give you some killer heartburn, but they are good hamburgers. And then you also have the Rum Runner Bar. All the bars here on the boat are basically the same. Some of them will carry some specialty drinks. So it's cool, a lot of these ships, uh, one of the pools will have a retractable roof, so don't worry about coming in the winter time when it's cold out. They'll just close the roof and make it nice and warm inside, but it is loud. Normally it's the uh, party pool where they're always playing music and having games and different activities and things like that. So this is the third deck now I've walked out onto. Also I got the ping pong table here on deck nine as we make our way towards the front of the ship. We're gonna go inside here to show you the spa and the gym. This is the Cloud Nine Spa. So this is inside the Cloud Nine Spa. They do all sorts of services. You can get haircut, you can get massage, acupuncture, facials, all sorts of different spa services they offer at the Cloud Nine Spa here. This should be leading back to the gym here. There it is. So there's actually a, like a relaxing area if you pay for the spa services. They give seminars and things like that. And we're going to the gym here. There's the gym. It's really nice. Most of the gyms on Carnival Boats are out the front so you get a beautiful view while you work out. Cardio equipment. Actually, a lot of people in here working out. They're doing a, I think, a reflexology. If you're wondering how much services are, I gotta tell you, I don't have a clue. I've never used a Cloud9 spa, but I believe a massage is like $160 an hour. 
Never forget about the soft serve ice cream machines out here on the pool deck, on the Lido deck. They're all over the buffet and out by the pool. So here it is, Nick and Nora's. It's sort of uh, in the middle of the boat, up on deck 10. You get to it uh, right next to the blue, uh, blue iguana. You can see that's deck 10. You can also come in here as well or take the main elevators up. So this is Nick and Nora's restaurant. Uh, I think it's a $45 upcharge per person to come eat here. Uh, we have never done it. The upcharges used to be like 10 or 15, $20, but $45 a person, I'd rather just go eat at the main dining room, but look how nice and fancy all like the silverware and plateware is. Nick and Nora's is where I'm next to you now. Uh, the Waterworks Serenity Pool. This is where most of the food is here on deck nine. A lot of the quick service food is options or lunch options are here along with the spa on deck nine. Levels eight, seven, six, five are all just guest rooms. And part of deck four is the Phantom Theater. They also have what they call the studio. They'll do private studio sections to take pictures with. This is some of the sample catalog they have here. And we're at the second stairwell now. The one in the middle of the boat, sort of in the middle. But as you can see, two of the stairwells are towards the back and then the one is up front by itself. So we're entering the shops area. They're having some sales, watches, t-shirts, gold chain by the inch. We call it the yellow brick road where the shops are. Lots of perfumes. Of course, they love to tell you how it's all duty free. Um, but if you ask me a lot, is isn't really the greatest price point. But you can get all your Carnival Miracle mer uh, merchandise and souvenirs. Of course, you can get liquor on the boat, but you don't get it until you get off the boat. It's basically like shopping at a duty-free store. And the prices aren't horrible at the uh, duty-free boat. And then next to it is the warehouse which is the video game arcade here on board. All sorts of loudness and kids playing. Don't need to go in there. <laughs> it's a really nice venue. But I do tell you, when a comedian is good, this place will be absolutely packed 30 to 40 minutes before the performance. And if you're not here 15 minutes beforehand, you will not find a seat another lounge area. They do piano playing and a lot of trivia here. This is my favorite bar, the Skybox. That's their sports book bar. Really nice place to watch a football or a hockey game. And this is the Red Frog Bar. Tons of different bar games in here to play. They do live music in here. Lots of drinking goes on here. It's just a fun place to come and hang out play these silly little bar games. Let's see if I can uh, get the ring on here. I believe you have to be 21 and over to gamble. Maybe 18, but I don't think so. Um, table games, slot machines, all sorts of ways to lose your money. I would suggest if you're gonna gamble, bring money cash with you on the boat. Uh, you can get cash off of your sale and sign card, but I believe they charge three or 4% to do it. Uh, there's an ATM on board and it's a seven dollar fee and the most you can get out I think is four hundred dollars. So another helpful hint about the casino is you have to cash out only while the casino is open so don't forget to cash out your chips before you leave the casino. It's the easiest way to never walk home with them. All right so one more thing to know this very important machine this is how you can look at your bill look at your sale and sign or use cash to pay off your account. I really recommend using this machine opposed to going to guest services, especially on the last or the second to last day, uh, because guest services is a nightmare. So another really popular activity on any cruise ship is karaoke. It is no different here. It is absolutely packed at the Red Frog right now. So I'm trying to keep you away from the music, but they're up singing their hearts out. It's not our cup of tea, but if you love karaoke, Especially if you can't sing, that's your place. All right guys, I hope you found my tour of the Carnival Miracle helpful. Uh, I'm pretty sure I covered everything in the public areas. 
All right, this is one of the specialty restaurants, Fahrenheit 555. It's really nice. I believe it's the steakhouse here on the Radiance. And then next to the steakhouse is Sunrise Restaurant. This is the upper floor. And this is the menu for the Sunrise Restaurant for the main dining room for dinner tonight. And as you can see, now you can look at your Carnival Hub app to get the menu for the whole cruise if you want. Really good food. We normally almost eat every dinner in the main dining room. And menu at the steakhouse, it's a $42 upcharge per person. But the food, everyone tells us, is absolutely unbelievable. The main foyer here on the Carnival Radiance. People are still checking in and getting on the boat. And we're gonna start our Carnival Radiance ship tour. We're going all the way up to the Lido deck here which is almost the top deck. There's also the panorama deck and the spa deck above that. All right, we're gonna start our ship tour up here on the 12th deck at the Cloud Nine Spa. It's towards the front of the ship. You can only access this area from the front elevator hall or taking the stairwell. And the gym is in this area as well. So there's saunas to use for the spa and locker rooms, all sorts of massage therapists. They do all types of different clinics here. And of course the gym is here. So this is right outside the Cloud9 Spa on deck 11. It overlooks the pool. There's a stairwell here. You can make your way up to the water slides. And I believe the Serenity sunbathing deck is up there on deck 12. And now we're making our way down to deck 10. Here we are now on the back of deck 10. More sunbathing areas and chairs, tables, and umbrellas to hang out under. Above deck 10 on deck 11 is the sports square. There's an obstacle course up there and I believe a basketball court and miniature golf. All right, so we're on the back of deck 10, down there on deck nine. At the end of the boat is the adults only pool. And right above it on deck 10 is Pig and Anchor. That's Guy's Barbecue Smokehouse. I think it's only open certain hours. It's not open right now for lunch. So up here on deck 10 behind Guy's Barbecue is Cupacana de Capiano. It is an Italian restaurant. See, it's really cute inside. It's up here on deck 10 towards the back of the boat. I'll have to look up to see if there's an upcharge on this restaurant. All right, let's continue our boat tour here. Uh, we're gonna go down to deck nine. So we're down here on the back of the boat on deck nine. You have the Tides Bar. You have, uh, which one is this? Big Chicken. And then you have the Pizza Place towards the back of the boat on deck nine. You enter the Lido Marketplace Buffet. This is the main buffet dining area here on the ship. You can see it's still really busy. Cuquita de Capitano. I mean, that absolutely wrong. It's up upstairs above the buffet. Wow, the buffet looks really good today. All sorts of good stuff. Well, I found the menu here for this specialty restaurant. It's a $18 upcharge for adults. It's here fried calamari, all sorts of pasta dishes, chicken. Looks like really good Italian food here. And here on the back of the boat on deck nine, you have the blue iguana. Really good tacos and burritos. It's also open for breakfast. They do uh, breakfast burritos, they're good. And then on the other side is Guy's Burger Bar. That's still open as well. And as you can see, there's a giant line for it because a lot of the other lunch options have shut down already. Sea bass also, $15 a pound for sea bass. $1.75 each for oysters, $10 a pound for shrimp. It's really not a bad price at all. So we're making our way back down through the Marketplace Buffet. It's closed down right now. It's about 4.30 after we're getting ready to set up for dinner. All right, and that'll do it for our tour of Deck 9, the Lido Deck. And now we're going down Decks 8, 7, and 6 are all staterooms. Deck 5 is the next sort of public part of the ship, and that's where we're headed down to right here. We're going to go down to Deck 5. So we're on the back of the bed 
on deck five. This is where a lot of the bars are, like the alchemy bar here. And I believe this is the piano bar on the other side. Oh no, this is the yeah, piano bar. And then the Red Frog Pub. They do all sorts of live music here at night and during the day at these different bars. Tons of different lounge areas to hang out at and relax. This is their sushi restaurant, Banzai. It's another upcharge restaurant, but it is not very expensive at all. If I remember right, rolls are $5 or $2 per piece. And they have a giant sushi boat too somewhere. It's only like $24 for sushi for two. Making our way back down to deck number five, you can see they're setting up to take pictures. We enter the casino, the Radiance Casino here. It's only open on sea days and when you're out to sea, it's not open in port. Just off to the side of the casino, after you walk out towards the middle is the warehouse, which is the arcade on board. And also in the middle of the ship on deck five are all the shops here. Lots and lots of shopping. Always jewelry and watches and perfume on board to buy. So as you can see, we're on the front of the boat now at the Liquid Lounge. It's two stories and then deck, we're gonna go check out deck four now and then deck three. Even though they have a ton of shops, if you forget something at home like nylons or tums or socks, really hard to find on a ship. So you really wanna make sure you bring everything with you. They also have liquor stores on board and cigarette sales. However, if you buy liquor on a ship, you cannot collect it until you're, the day you get off the boat. We're walking down the stairs here to deck four. This is where they have the photo gallery where you can collect all your pictures from the photos you've taken while on the boat. They are not cheap. So normally we don't get the photos from the boat. So we're on deck four right above the main foyer area. Here's where you'll find Java Blue. It's like a Starbucks. You can get a specialty coffee. They're three, four dollars a piece. And now we're back at the sunset or sunrise uh, main dining room here. This is the dining room that's included for free. You can either have the early, the late dining or the anytime dining. Interesting thing to note is once you're at the Fahrenheit uh, Steakhouse and the sunrise restaurant you cannot pass through here you have to go down a floor and then over so you know access on three so you gotta go up to five then over and then down to access the back of the ship on deck four all right so we're in the back of the ship sunset restaurant this is the main dining room the only way to really get here is to take the back set of elevators here you can't go through the lime <laughs> the limelight lounge which is the comedy club so you have to take deck uh, five across to come down here so we're down here finally on deck three down by guest services this is where you come onto the ship here and always on the first day guest services is an absolute mess so i suggest getting on the boat early and fixing any issues you might have like switching names on rooms uh, very very early of course this is the lower level of the sunrise restaurant here the one in the middle of the boat they also have the Dreams Studio here. This is where you can book like a private sessions with their photographers on board. If you want to take a lot of really fancy pictures. And of course, Carnival Adventures, this is where you can book all your shore excursions from. So I'm not going down, but down on deck two is the art gallery. We, they do art auctions and things like that, but we never really attend. Because as we do find a lot of the artwork very beautiful, we also find it extraordinarily overpriced. Well, I ran all over the ship. I think I found just about all the public spaces for you to check out. Let me know in the comments below if I missed anything, and I hope you enjoy your time on the Carnival Radiance.